I mean, this is actually fairly common. <laughs> I mean, there's a Home Depot it's, within two miles of here. It kind of gives you hope, you know, that they're going for men who are more traditional men, but at the same time, you don't want these dudes to get raked over the coals either. Yeah. So this is kind of two sides of the same story here. They kind of go together. Listen, Female TikTokers are saying they're deleting their dating apps and going to Home Depot. Okay. Because they want the Ron Swanson who can walk by the guy in the orange vest. I know more than you. And just keep on walking. <laughs> <laughs> What can I help you? I know more than you. <laughs> <laughs> this is just this is nuts. So, well, I, success, mean, I love this. Success rates vary as can see well, <laughs> the bullet points. One of my buddies between his divorces <laughs> was actually picked up at, at a Home Depot and it went out to her car in the parking lot on her break, banged her, and then went back in and bought some plywood. <laughs> Whatever works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it takes all kinds. I guess. Oh my got, god! I, mean, I heard. I'm like, I'm not gonna kink shame anybody. I'm like, dude, what what what, what are you thinking? She goes, oh, she wasn't that bad looking. <laughs> wasn't that bad looking? Yeah. He's like, well, okay, let's do oh this. My god. <laughs> you know who who else goes to Home Depot looking for a date? Paul Pelosi. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Like uh, it's the, Hammer Time. The Hammer Man. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're gonna release that videotape, and it, we should do a whole, uh, we should do a parody of that thing. Oh yeah, I'm, and the thing is, sooner or later, this is all gonna come out, and instead of MC Hammer, it's gonna be BBC Hammer. Oh my God, terrible, terrible, and I'm not talking about the news network. So I love this Home Depot be the destination to meet your future husband. So. <laughs> of the many women on TikTok who say they're deleting dating apps, some say that they're looking for love at Home Depot. I'm headed to Home Depot to look confused in the lumber aisle. Look at this. Uh huh. There she's we go. She's putting on the lip gloss. She's already got her war paint on. She's uh -huh. got a six head. Is, is that a six? Yeah. That, that's that, a six that's head. A five or six head. Humorous trend has been building for almost two years. We're just now hearing about it. No, it this is nothing new. Oh, I t this has been going on women for, being for women, decades. Ladies, no joke. Home Depot is where you go if you want to meet a man. TikTok user Megan Louise 217 sent in a video in March. Okay. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, let, me, let me listen to this. I got to listen to this. Home Depot is where you go if you want to meet a man. I found at least three husbands. I mean, they had wives, but, like, don't let that stop you. <laughs> Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah, you know, because, you know, the women are morally superior to men. Now, right? listen, the universe is not going to send you somebody else's husband. No. It's usually not going to work out. But they'll justify, well, he's my soulmate. Ah, how many times I heard that? Kiss my ass. Oh, my Lord. Although Home Goods retailer Home Depot saw 1.8 8, 1 .8 billion customer transactions worldwide in 2021, not everyone has found their romantic match. TikTok user It's CyberSafe said in October 2021 that she was at Home Depot for the third time this month. No husbands in sight, she says. <laughs> oh, that's at it. Home Depot for the third time this month. No husbands in sight. Well, that could have something to do with the fact that you're mid. Just saying. Dudes are looking for dimes, not a, not a nickel. And, and like, Just dudes saying. go to buy stuff. Yeah, they, they go to Home Depot and say, "Ah, oh, they're doing something at home." Like, ah, oh, shit. Who they, goes to Home Depot scouting for poon? I, I certainly don't. Uh, I mean, that would even cross my mind. Oh man, <laughs> shit. Well, let's hear this one down. You here. go to you go to Home Depot looking for poon. Next thing you know, you're itching more than if but you accidentally mishandled the fiberglass of insulation. The spinster bubble starting to break. Oh yeah, this is big. This time. is only going to get worse. This for is them. pathetic. My four week online dating experience. Oh, here we go. Best place to meet real men who don't use the net often. Home Depot make it a day. Hmm. Uh, you're in your forties. Just, just saying. Yep. That's what we're just Do you have walk. an aisle specifically where single men are? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a dog I can pet? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Hi. Hey. Do you know anything about um, a bunch of single men being here for a dating thing? <laughs> oh, no. You're not single, are you? I'm not. No. 
<laughs> Too bad. Too dog. No. Are you guys single? No. Damn it. Thank you. <laughs> well, these people are married. Yeah, that that wasn't the answer at all. all right. I'm gonna go to Lowe's now. <laughs> all right, the answer. Okay, she's actually funny. I'll yeah, give her yeah. props. The answer that. was to get a dude when you're at your prime and hold yes. on to him and not drive him out the out the door. We're so easy to get get along with. Yeah. You know, suck, silence, and shut up. The three S's. <laughs> That's all it really takes. Suck, silence. Isn't like that redundant? Boy, uh, yeah, right. That's like calling a woman a vagina cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're I mean, such a dick cock. <laughs> <laughs> redundant. <laughs> Department of Redundancy. No, Department no, no. Called. Redundant redundancy burns. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a coit as fuck, Ed. You're a coit as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go have shag bang? <laughs> <laughs> You want to go get burrito Mexican food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, suck, silence, and sandwich. There you go. All right. Sorry. I There's off. your three S's. Suck, silence, and sandwich. Yeah. I knew we were going to bait the hook, and somebody was going to bite on that bitch. It was just yeah. a matter of time. I mean, but dudes are so easy. I mean, normal. Uh, normal. No, I'm not talking about the feminist, feminized dudes that soy act, boys yeah. they act like a hybrid female thing no no not Mm-mm. those guys i'm just talking about normal dudes yeah men who wear skinny jeans uh, yeah, right. here's another video that i'm gonna probably do this week is i'm literally gonna go through the math and show you exactly what your value is as a dude especially if you're one of those guys who can do medium you know complicated kind of uh, jobs required to upkeep a house Mm -hmm. because if you didn't exist the lady who owned the house would have to pay that that amount of money to get the same amount of uh, services and value and and it it is a huge number huge huge i'm still like hung up on these chicks going into home depot looking for dudes and, and the kind of women who have they have dropped in their value to this point where they go into Home Depot are the ones who can go into the wood section and be like, I've had better. <laughs> I'm going to go check out the caulk. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. You've already seen them all. Yep. That's yeah. why you're here. Listen, when you walked across the stage for your diploma in high school, you had the thousand cock stare. So yeah. just save it. You went for a bratwurst bonanza, the hot dog haberdashery, the whole the whole nine yards. <laughs> or the whole nine inches in, in, the, the, in the case of some serostitutes. It's disgusting. <laughs> haberdashery <laughs> the hot dog haberdashery <laughs> that's that's the male strip club <laughs> got it or the helicopter zoo yeah. <laughs> watch grunt speak live every tuesday and thursday at 8 p.m eastern and if you want to join pop for supporter sundays go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge a link is in the meat case box <laughs>